Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn CSV file column mapping in PHP by using Ajax jQuery. Here column mapping means if your CSV files has multiple column, then from that column we can define particular column and only that column data we want to import in MySQL database. For example this is our CSV file, and in this file, we can see 10 column, like company name, first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, county, phone and email. And this is our CSV file table, and here is only four column like ID, first name, last name and email column. So, now from this CSV file, we have to only import data from three table column. For this we have to define CSV file column, at the time of importing of data. So, this is web page, and here we have select CSV file, and after this we have click on upload button. After click on upload button, here on web page, we can see CSV file some data has been display on web page, and here on header of each column, we can see select box. From this select box, we can define column, and at the time of importing of data, that column only that column data will be import in MySQL table. So, here we have select first name, so this column data will be inserted in first name table column. Then after, from this column select box, we have select last name, so this column data will be inserted in last name table column. And lastly, from this last column select box, we have select email. So this column data will be inserted in email table column. So this way we can map CSV file table column. After selecting email table column select option, here we can see import button has been enabled for clicking. So, we have clicked this button. After click on this button, here we can see success message on web page. So this way we can import only particular CSV file column data in MySQL table by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is our testing database. In this database, we have one table CSV file, with four table column like ID, first name, last name and email. In this table, we will import data from CSV file, by using feature of column mapping. This is our working folder, here we can see four file like import.php, index.php, sample.csv file, and upload.php file. First we have open index.php file, and in this file, we have already imported jQuery and bootstrap library link. Here first we have defined one division tag, with id is equal to message. Under this tag, we will display success or error message. After this, below here we have create another division tag, with class is equal to row, and id attribute is equal to upload area. Under this tag, 
we have create on form with method is equal to post, id is equal to upload form, and for upload file, here we have write encryption is equal to multi-part form data. Under this form, for select file from local computer, here we have write input type is equal to file, name is equal to file, and id equal to csv file. And for upload file, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to upload file, and value is equal to upload. By click on this button, we can upload selected file. Below this form, we have create one another division tag, with class is equal to table responsive, and id is equal to process data, under this tag, we will display content of CSV file on web page. Now, we have go to jQuery code part, and here we have write dollar with form ID upload form with on method with submit event. So when form has been submitted, then this block of code will execute. Under this block, we have write event dot prevent default method. It will stop to reload web page. After this, we have start write Ajax request, and in this, we have write first option URL set to upload.php. It will send request to this upload.php file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have write new form data object. It will send data to server in the set of key and value pairs. In fourth option, we have write data type. And here we have write JSON, so this AJAX request will receive data in JSON format. In fifth option, we have write content type, and here we have write false. This option has been used when sending file data to server. In next option, we have write cache. And in this option property set to false, it will enable cache request web pages. In seventh option, we have write process data, and this option also set to false. This used for send dumb element, or non-processed data file, so it's set to false. And in last option, we have write success callback function. This function will be called if Ajax request has been completed successfully, and it will receive data in JSON data type. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write data dot error variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true. Then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with division tag id message with HTML method. Under this method, we have write division tag with class is equal to alert and alert danger class, and between this division tag, we have write data dot error. So it will display error message under this tag. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code. And under this block, we have write division tag with ID is equal to process area 
with HTML method. And under this method, we have write data dot output variable. It will display some content of CSV file with select box option for defined specific column for import data. After this, we have write dollar with division tag ID upload area with CSS method with two argument. In first argument, we have write display, and in second argument, we have write none, it will hide, this content from web page. So, in this part, we have make CSV file upload form, and then after we have write Ajax request for upload CSV file using Ajax in PHP. In next part, we will write PHP script for fetch data from CSV file and then after convert that data into HTML format and send back to Ajax request with import button. If you have any query or input regarding this part, please comment your query or input in comment box. Or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also.